at Cox 4. And congratulations to you all, a marvellous performance. Andy Holmes, it must have been an enormous thrill. It certainly was, and a big relief. Big relief. We, we knew we were capable of it. Uh, after the heat on Monday when we, we won it quite, uh, quite easily. Uh, the last week has just been absolute torture, waiting for it. Um, and this is it. We went out and did it. Richard Budget, what has it meant to you? Well, it's a culmination of four years. Uh, I've been building up to this since 1981, I suppose, and all that training and hard work has finally culminated in what must be the ultimate triumph for, for a sportsman, a gold medal at the Olympics. It's just unbelievable. Adrian Ellison, if I can come down to you, you must have been just a little bit concerned when you saw the pace that was being set for you. We were concerned, but we knew that we could take them back. Um, if they were going to be ahead of us at any stage in the race, it would mean that they'd been pushing hard to do so and we knew that we'd got a fast finish and we could take anybody who was on the water. Stephen Redgrave, can I just lean across to you? You were dicing at one time with the single skulls rather than the four. You presumably don't regret the decision now. Uh, not now, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about the rest of these lads? What have they done for you? Well, it's, <laughs> that's putting me on the spot. No, we've, we've had a good time. We've had a few laughs in the three months we've been together. And it's been very enjoyable. And can I talk to Martin Cross? Your parents and sister were here. Have you seen them since? Yes, yeah, so I actually rushed over to my dad just after the medal ceremony. It's quite an emotional moment, and uh, I think they've enjoyed themselves quite a lot out here. <coughs> well, congratulations to you all from us and from everybody back home. Well done. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Cheers.